Aloha and greetings guys, Seth Gamby here in beautiful Kona, Hawaii. 43 years ago today, April 22nd, 1970, the first Earth Day was celebrated. Over 2,000 universities and colleges stopped protesting long enough to celebrate Earth Day. Uh, over 100,000 people crammed onto New Fifth Avenue, New York City, shutting it down to traffic to help st uh, celebrate the first Earth Day. Now, I don't really know if I'd call it a celebration. It's more like a big protest. It's more like a funeral march because the founders of Earth Day were making some very, very dire predictions about the future of our planet. Uh, now, I, I have a post below you can read to see for yourself the 13 worst predictions made by the on Earth Day back in 1970, and you can decide for yourself if any of them have come true or not. But here's the thing. Whether you lived back then or you just heard about it, the 70s were a crazy time period. I mean, I'm not going to go into all the fashion, the music, and the culture of the 70s. You can decide for yourself if it was good or bad or, <laughs> or what. But there was some stuff going on in the 70s, like political scandals at the highest level of our government, a very unpopular war, energy shortages, you know, economic depression, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And this was the backdrop for the first Earth Day back in 1970. They were making predictions of famines, uh, coming ice ages, uh, you know, global overpopulation, all kinds of stuff, lack of resources, not enough food, too many people, all these different things. So read the, I want you to read this article, the 13 worst predictions made by Earth Day founders back in 1970, and you can be the judge for yourself on whether or not they've come true. So guys, here's the thing. It's time to, for us to start taking responsibility for our problems rather than asking our, our, a bunch of bureaucrats to solve everything for us. I mean, let's get realistic. They can't even balance their own checkbooks, so it's really not very likely that they're going to solve any of our problems for us. So it, the responsibility has got to be back on the individuals and the communities. And one other thing you're going to see in this article is a graphic that's going to expose some of the myths of overpopulation. And you can see just in simple math and simple geography the truth about what is, what's real and what's the sky is falling, fear mongering type propaganda that's, that's pushing us towards a certain agenda. So read the post below, guys. The 13 worst predictions made on Earth Day back in 1970. Judge for yourself whether they came true or not and then act, responsibil uh, act responsibly and act accordingly, guys. All right, guys, Seth Gamby, husband, dad, elevator, signing off from Kona. Aloha.